Hi Pisces, welcome to your July full moon in Capricorn Love Tower reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, we're looking at the full moon, which could be completions, full circles, maybe endings. And Capricorn can be the energy of taking a review here of what's real, what's not, what's toxic, what's not, what needs to go, what needs to stay, a very stable, grounded energy what can feed our stability and foundation and what doesn't so i'm not an astrologist but i'm just kind of here to read the cards on the energies so pisces would keep this open to whatever shows up so if something shows up you're not interested simply is not your reading really have to stress that but you know hopefully it will be all right pisces sun moon rising venus male or female general collective reading only take what resonates for you including the signs mentioned and you definitely can flip switch reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to cross watchers as well could be a reading for you so welcome in pisces i hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time so let's see what we have here so we have 31 dry desert four that would be a four stability foundation so feeling like uh, nothing's really happening at this time and we have storm fields nine which could be almost the ending completion maybe new beginnings so hmm interesting so we go from dry desert where we're feeling barren dry nothing's happening kind of stalemate to all of a sudden there's a big storm <laughs> what the heck all right slow and steady 12 which is three which is growth expansion and rock bottom we have 10 endings and new beginnings wow Pisces, what is going on here? I think I think you slowly climbed your way out of a situation where you felt like you kind of hit rock bottom in a way. And maybe, you know, it was a storm that was coming for quite a long time. And while you were going through the storm, you felt like things cannot just get any worse here. But it's saying slow and steady. You're reaching back up to the top. So, I mean, dry desert, you may be feeling like, you know, things are like you've come out of that place, but now you're kind of looking around like, well, where do I go from here? Because everything just feels like barren and nothing's really happening and kind of at a stalemate. Oh my goodness. But you do have a new, you have 910, which is progression, which there's a new beginning happening here. It's like, yes, so instead you'll cross that desert. And we do have some growth expansion on the horizon here. So let's see. Seems like so far you're my third reading for this full moon in Capricorn. It's all been about new beginnings. So leaving things in the past no longer serving and embracing new beginnings here in love. All right, Pisces. Everything you need to know is down below. Pin top comment, description box. Your playlist is down there, as well as the list of readings I do here and my other channels. So you may want to sub there if you don't want to lose me. If this channel goes away for whatever reason, you never know here. You can find me over there. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been uh, working hard. You've had to put a lot of hard work into something here. Getting over heartache, pain, disappointments. Definitely, this has been like a reoccurring theme here. And we do have the King of Cups, which is your energy Pisces. So that's a confirmation for you that you're in, you know, follow your heart, your intuition. And if you saw that door open right there, that's my cat. Not a ghost. Sorry, guys. So let me close that. And I <laughs> got to readjust the camera. My cat kind of messed me up here. I feel like you're going to be going through some readjustments here i definitely feel like you've been doing that okay maybe sharpening your claws and getting ready to fight the good fight maybe for yourself i don't know let's see all right so let's see here pisces what else do we have for pisces temperance so that is all about alignment here and the hierophants I feel like you're aligning to your higher self. Also, you know, the higher fit is about growth, expansion, um, higher levels of learning, stability, faith, hope, religion, um, being the teacher, the student, wisdom. 
can be about marriage, divorce, King of Swords, yeah. Some of you may actually be divorced and things are, you know, you, you had to really put in a lot of hard work here to get over the disappointment, pain, whatever this was for you. And now sitting in your true authentic self, follow your heart, your intuition, and things are going to align for you. Definitely could be divorce, but also higher levels of learning, growing spiritually um, as well. Yeah, Ace of Wands, but you do have something new coming in here. Something new and exciting. King of Wands could be a business owner, entrepreneur, leader, someone of integrity, values, morals, uh, spirituality, inspiration, creativity. Five of Wands. I don't see any challenges with this, which is good. It's in reverse. Eight of Wands. It could be somebody you're already talking to, maybe online, social media, that you're wondering about. Like, hmm, I wonder if this is going to be a connection. I kind of feel good about it. I'm kind of feeling it's a yes. So let's see. We have Taurus, uh, Sagittarius, that's you, Pisces. Hmm. And, you know, temperance is about soulmate alignment, divine alchemy, patience, healing, balance, past life healing, things meant to be. Saying. All right. All right, Pisces. So let's see what's coming in with this temperance. What is coming in with... So we have uh, Sagittarius, Taurus, Pisces. All right. What's coming in with temperance? what's coming in with temperance what is this now the page of cups in reverse hmm. nine of swords in reverse this could be um, maybe it's someone that you're talking to maybe online social media eight of wands can be you know social media text phone calls maybe travels something someone maybe you met in travels or something like that Let's see. Four of Cups. I feel like this is someone you're wondering about. Eight of Wands showing up again. Yeah, so I don't feel like it's there's any kind of stress around this because we got the Nine of Swords reversed. But I feel like you're talking to this person, Page of Cups, but it's in reverse saying maybe it's uh, you're talking about creative things. You're talking about spirituality. You're talking about other things. But it's not really like a love connection, more of like a friend or something like that. With a five of wands in reverse, again, which is saying that there's not a lot of conflict or anything surrounding this or stress. Which you're wondering, hmm, is, is there something more here? Can there be something more here? Is this a connection? Is this a connection waiting to happen? Because I'm feeling it's more platonic than romantic with that page of cups reversed. And that's uh, Pisces again. So we have Pisces, Nine of Wands. So you may be struggling with this. Like, is this just a friend? Or is this going to be something more? Maybe you want to take that leap of faith here. Maybe. And uh, is this a connection? Is this is this where this is going? Is there something here? Two of Cups. Just saying. Three of Cups. So going from the Two of Cups to Three of Cups. So I feel like this is someone you met and you know. And you're wondering if it's something more or if it's going to grow into something more. Three of Cups could be courting, dating, getting to know on a romantic level here. Six of Pentacles. Is it reciprocated? It could be. Six of Pentacles. And it could manifest here as well. We have the Magician. Successful movement forward here. Success, victory, balance, drive, ambition. Could be some traveling involved maybe. All right. So let's see, Pisces, let's see what else do we need to know for Pisces. So I want to know more about this new person. So somehow you know them, I, I kind of feel that. So, all right, where is this connection going for Pisces? Where? Seven of Cups. Yeah, that's the confusion, illusion, like, and that you may feel very, a very dreamy, lighter than life energy about this person, which are wondering if it's going to transform. We have the butterfly there. What else? Hermit reversed. Strength. So strong connection cannot be denied, maybe here. Past lives. Being 
and strong, confident, and brave here to come out of hiding. <laughs> six of Wands. We do have success, victory here. Same. And the Nine of Pentacles. So very single energy. I feel like you're a single, they're single. Someone could be very, very successful. The Six of Wands maybe gets a lot of attention. Maybe, maybe somebody has a very strong uh, social media following of some kind. But I feel like the only way you're going to know Pisces is if someone actually comes out of the shadows, out of hiding, and brings something to light with the Hermit in reverse here. So we do have Virgo Leo showing up here. Knight of Swords taking quick action here. Could be you, could be them. Five of Cups reverse. So I don't sense any sadness or loss here, but there's some mutual attraction chemistry here with the Ace of Wands saying and then we have the lovers so someone has to make the choice here because i feel like this is a connection that could evolve into more and then we have the ace of cups i mean seriously with the lovers definitely here but ace of swords reverse no one is speaking about what needs to be spoken about i feel it's just a lot of waiting here with the three of wands wow we have aquarius energy here with the knight of swords Leo Virgo. All right, so who's going to be strong enough here to make the first move? Make the first move for Pisces. Let's see what's going to happen here for Pisces. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're done with the past. This is all about new. Six of Cups in reverse is nothing returning from the past. Don't worry about that. That has been dealt with. That is done. You're done with that. This is all about the new. Uh, Page of Swords. I definitely feel like it could be spying on social media. Also, it could be an online connection for some. Two of Pentacles. So a lot of back and forth energy here. So I'm feeling a lot of back and forth exchange through text emails messages um communities maybe online communities in some way in the moon but there's a lot hidden here there's pisces and there's that full moon we're talking about queen of swords so the queen of swords is about the truth clarity communication and i definitely feel like that we that's what needs to happen here also it could be that you both could be divorced i mean the queen of swords could be um you know divorced king queen divorced uh, people of the deck, but also she brings in true clarity, communication, telling it like it is, that, hey, would you like to go out on a date? I feel something here. Maybe we could see where this could go romantically. Queen of Wands, there's the attraction, the chemistry, it's there. And it's about to manifest here. Somebody has to make the first move. Just saying, just saying. And take that leap of faith but now we got the full energy leap of faith let's do this but stuck energy here with the hangman page of wands is about communication good news um being excited about this as well world new cycle again starting could be traveling or distance i get that as well so we have libra pisces uh, aquarius Aquarius again, uh, full. So I want to see here, Pisces. So I feel a good exchange. I do. So if that resonates, if this is someone new that you've been having some good exchange with, I feel like it's online or it could be something else. Um, this like secret hidden energies, feelings that needs to be talked about here about, do you think, you know, there's some chemistry romance here? Cause I feel it. I think they feel it too, but let's see. Let's see for Pisces. Two of Wands in reverse. That's about making a path and choosing a path and going down that path. Ten of Swords. Knight of Wands. Star in reverse. In there's you Pisces with the uh, High Priestess Reverse. So that could be about finally opening up here. Opening up to get your wish fulfillment. It's in reverse. So not feeling like 
wishes or dreams are going to come true, maybe losing hope. But the High Priestess is about uh, opening up here to get your wish fulfillment, taking action, choosing that path. Ten of Swords, I mean, Tower, it's about big shift happening like right now. Right now. Eight of Cups, don't let this person get away. Maybe you're feeling like, you know, somehow they're getting away somehow. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling that. Maybe you're not communicating as much, or maybe there's something else going on. But it's like, oh my god, I feel like this person's getting away. I gotta say something. Oh my god, maybe it's over. But it never really started. But I think the more we bring things into the light, that things could turn around here. Because I kind of see this with the Knight of Wands. And the Ace of Wands showing up again. So... There is a connection here. I definitely feel that. But there's been a lot of stagnancy waiting, just like that dry desert. Don't, and then we get the King of Swords, which is a match to the Queen. So you both could have been through similar things in the past, maybe both divorced. But there's that chemistry, attraction, the fire, the passion right there. I'm just saying. All right, so we have Sag, Aquarius, Pisces. A two. I mean, that could be two weeks, two days. I mean, someone has to say something here. Definitely. Don't let just let this person slip away. All right. So let's see what this deck has to say for you, Pisces. Again, if you enjoy this, Pisces, it resonates. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, all that great stuff. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. And again, everything you need is below. All right. So let's see what this deck has to offer for Pisces about this situation. Let's see. The goddess. So that is like Empress energy here. So knowing your value, your worth. Then we also have fear. Some of you may be fearing you're not good enough or maybe they may not see you as a god or goddess. Um, I don't think you have to worry about that. Relationship. Exactly. This could turn into a relationship but somebody has to get over the fear of either someone is not interested or maybe they got the wrong perception um, or maybe not good enough trilogy of light so that is like heart mind body and soul past present future going from dark into light I definitely feel like you've been you've been like through this series like a trilogy already like the dark you've been through the dark you hit the bottom you climbed your way out now you rose to the top now you're in the light and right now it seems a little still stagnant but once those steps are made to fully move and bring things to light here then we can have this relationship but it's about getting over the fear it could be about the physical body but knowing your value and worth you are an emperor empress And retreat. So I definitely get a lot of um, of that energy. That there is a lot of retreating from both sides. But what really needs to happen is getting over fear and making that first move, move here by like shining the light, shedding the light, stepping into the light, and bringing things to light about feelings, emotions. Where can this go? I feel the spark. I feel the chemistry. I feel the romance blooming. Do you feel it? Can we explore this and see where it goes? definitely. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonated. Um, again, everything you need is below. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.